Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform a simple linear regression in Excel 2010. So before we start, let's take a look at our data. We've got two sets of data representing the variable x and variable y. We've got some values for each of those data here. And I've already calculated the uh, correlation coefficient r for these data, and the value of 0 0.87 indicates a very strong positive correlation between these two sets of data. And correlation um, implies a linear relationship between the data. And we can use this, and over here on the right-hand side, I've got my regression equation, to help us uh, predict values. If we have a value of x, we can predict a value of y, y based on the regression equation, where y is equal to b times x, minus a. Now in the formula, um, x and y are our values such as in our, our table over here, but b is the slope of the line and a is the intercept, in other words where the line is going to cut the y-axis. So to make more sense of this, let's plot a chart of our data. So first off, let me select all my data in columns b and c. On the insert ribbon, the type of chart I need is a scatter chart, and I'm going to select this one here, scatter with markers only, the simplest scatter chart. Now before I continue, let me make some changes to this chart here. First of all, delete this label. I don't need that. Uh, I'm also going to delete these um, grid lines here. So I'm going to format these and choose no line. So that gets rid of those. And I also want to add in uh, so, some uh, chart type uh, axis labels here. So I'm going to put in the axis label for the uh, horizontal one, which is going to be X. So type in X. And also choose the axis titles and select the vertical one and select the vertical title here and just simply type in y. Okay, so now we've got our data. Uh, y is on the y axis and our x values are on our x axis over here. My last change is you can see the data are very cluttered over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to select the x axis here with my left mouse button, right click on it, choose format axis, and I want to um, select the minimum value here. On my chart, the minimum value is zero, but in my data, the minimum value that I know is 110. So just type 110 in here and click on close. And then we can see that our data are a little bit uh, easier to read here. And we can see that there's a trend through all of these data. Now we're near the end here. So uh, the next thing I need to do is just add in a trend line um, to my data here. And Excel will also give us the regression equation and an R squared value to indicate how best the line fits. So if I select my data here with my left mouse button, you can see the little selection tools uh, around each, each dot. Right click on any dot here and just simply select add trend line. Now we can see up above here that the trend line has been added in, but we can also have some uh, formatting of this line here. We can change the type, but leave it at linear. That's uh, selected here already. But look carefully down towards the bottom. There are some check boxes, and I want to check the one which says display equation on chart, and also display the R squared value on the chart as well. So, so make sure those two boxes are checked, and click on closed. Now here's the uh, regression equation and the R squared values. Just let me make those a little bit bigger see them a little bit better. And first off here, looking at the R-squared value, um, and a maximum R-squared value is 1, which would be a line on our chart with all the dots perfectly matched on the line. So R-squared of 0 0.7619 indicates quite a strong correlation between these two data. Now don't forget, by the way, that correlation does not cause causation. Our regression equation here, y equals 3.1477 times x minus 178.67, this would allow us to make a prediction of a value of y based on a value of x. In this formula here, the 3.1477 represents the slope of the line. So we can see that our line here is increasing slowly. So this line is increasing at a rate of 3.1477. So x is increasing that much times faster than y. And the higher the value here, the steeper the slope will be. In the regression formula, the value of 178.67, well, this represents a value over here on the uh, y-axis where the line will intersect the y-axis. So now we have our regression equation. We know from our r-squared value that there's a strong correlation between these two values. We have our line of best fit, and we can now use this information to predict values of y based on values of x. So that's simple linear regression in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.